Okay, we'll start with the Mustad R70 wet nymph hook, size 10. This is the Brassy and Partridge Spider. So we'll just attach our tying thread and go a little, just a wee bit way back, not much. So I'm using a bright yellow copper wire here. So we can tie this in with quite a length sticking out, it just makes it easier. We'll get rid of that afterwards. So we'll go back there. Then what I do is I attach my hackle plier to the wire so I can keep it nice and tight. And then we'll use the rotary vise. You have to remember that the tying thread will wind up all the time, but that's okay. We can just take that off again afterwards. You can put a whip finish in it and use a bobbin holder if you wish. So, make the turns nice and tight. Be careful when you're coming uh, back towards the hook point because you can, if you don't break your wire, you can weaken it if you catch it on the point of the hook. Oops. So just keep the turns nice and tight. You get a very neat body doing it this way. There you go. I did it. I'm back to the tying thread again. Just slacken that off and wind it. There you go. Three or four more turns will do us. There we are. And then when your wires come back to the bottom again of the underside of the hook shank, we can take it over and use it as the rib back up towards the tying thread. That last one's not so good. There we are. So what I'll do now is I'll just unwind that again. back into where we started and just secure the copper wire. We can remove the hackle plier now. Now what I want to do is just if not right there we go. Excellent. I'll take my other scissors. Just clip those off. That's an old pair of scissors I use for wire and I don't use for thread anymore. So then we go in. What we need now is our peacock curl. So as you can probably hear it's really raining here today. Here we go. Peacock curl on forward. Hackle plier again on the peacock curl. You have to watch the tying thread here because doing it this way now you're unwinding so it's good to wind on 10 or 12 times. So I'll just go forward with the peacock curl. All you want here is a little collar. nicely and tie off the peacock curl. Now don't break it off because it can all go to hell. We just carefully remove that. Then what we want is we want a grey speckled partridge hackle that you find on the top of the wing of a partridge skin and you prepare it like this. You strip one side of the hackle I can show you actually if you like. Let's just get a partridge hackle and I'll show you. So there's the grey hackle. So we strip off everything each side until you get into the length of hackle that you want. 
So we turn it around then. What I do is I put a little clip on about there so you measure the length how much hackle you want so you fold all that back remove your clip hold that you strip all the fibers off one side of it and then you trim that down that's your perfect spider hackle okay we just go a wee bit back. I can take those away. And we tie our hackle in tight into the peacock hole. Go forward. There we are. And then what I do is I give it one because that's what happens. Give it one whip finish just to keep everything in position. Then my hackle plier again. This is a bit too long the stem. I'll take that off. You have better control I feel if it's shorter. Just attach that. And then we'll wind on our hackle. Tie that off, remove the hackle plier. Tie not that tight thread. One more with finish before I remove the stem. Like so trim off the stem. And then I'll give it another whip finish. Like so. Separate those up. And that's it. That's the Brassy and Partridge Spider. Thanks for watching.